Welcome to the Food Checker Calculator. My name's Roisin Woods and I'm a scientist here at Dairy NZ. I'm part of the team working to optimise the benefits of alternative feeds like fodder beet for our dairy farmers. Today I'm going to talk you through how to use the Feed Checker Calculator. This handy tool is designed to help with feed allocation so that you know what you're feeding. The first tab is a how to use page which you can return to as a handy reference guide to use the calculator. Here you can see the boxes are colour coded. Green is a required input from a drop down list. Yellow means input values are required and light yellow boxes are optional. Today I'm going to go through an example using fodder beet as a winter feed. First we click on the main page which is the feed checker tab. First thing to do is enter your farm name. In this example we've called it farm A. I want to calculate what the cows might be eating in June this year, so I'm going to enter in the 15th of June. Otherwise the default is to calculate from today's date. Next we need some information about the cows on your farm. So here you can enter what breed they are, what stage of lactation, and in this example we're going through a winter feeding example so the cows are dry. We can enter in the average live weight of the cows and the estimated body condition score gain or loss over the next month. This input is quite important because it is used to estimate the energy requirements. Next enter your planned start of calving and it will automatically calculate how many weeks until calving. You can enter in how many cows are in a mob milk solids production, although this is not applicable in our example, what sort of terrain the farm has, whether it's flat, rolling or steep, and how far the cows are walking each day. In this example, we're not feeding pasture, so we can ignore section two. Another key section to look at is the transition cow in this section here, where it's asking are the cows two to three weeks pre-calving? The calculations in this example are 5.7 weeks prior to calving, so in this case we can select no. In section 3, are you feeding crops, we can select yes and we're also feeding fodder beet. For the bulb to leaf ratio, if you've had crop yields done, you can calculate these from your report. If you would like to use this section to calculate the break size for your mob, you can do this as well. You just need to enter in your crop yield, your break face length and your target allocation and the calculator will work out how many metres you need to move your fence each day to provide your target allocation. In this example, I've had some feed testing done for my fodder beet crop and supplements. So I can enter these as custom feeds using the custom feed setup tab. It allows us in this yellow area to enter in our custom feeds. We already know what our leaf to bulb ratio is from our yield report. And here are our feed test results. We can enter in the dry matter percent, metabolizable energy, crude protein, neutral detergent fiber, soluble sugars and starches, starch and fat. Then you can enter in your mineral levels for sodium, potassium, chloride, sulfur, magnesium, calcium and phosphorus. And if you've got a supplement sample that you've also had analysed, you can enter in the values for this here. I recommend changing the name to something like silage farm A, so something that's unique to your farm. This means when you're selecting it from your custom feed setup, you can be sure that that's the right feed that you're selecting. Otherwise you can just use the default names. After you've entered your feed test results you can then go back to the feed checker tab. If you don't have feed test results for your supplements it is possible to use the feed checker defaults however this won't be as accurate for your farm. Now in section 4 we're going to enter in our allocation information. First we have fodder beet. You can select the bulb to leaf percentage and the utilisation. 
In this example, we're offering seven kilos of fodder beet and we're feeding it alongside some good quality pasture silage and some cereal straw. In this example, I've had my feed test done for my silage. So I've entered it there as a custom feed, but I don't have a feed test result for the cereal straw. So I'm just using the default feed checker values for this. If you scroll down to the bottom, it tells you the total amount on offer and how much is being eaten based on your utilisation. If you scroll over to the feed checker box, it has now calculated what the recommended diet should contain based on your input values about your cows. So it combines your feed test results or the feed checker default feed values with your allocation information to work out what you're offering your animals. In this case, our example diet is meeting the recommendations for dry matter content and metabolizable energy, as well as fiber, soluble sugars and starches, starch, fat, sodium, potassium, and chloride. However, it is a bit deficient in protein and some other minerals such as sulfur, magnesium, calcium, and phosphorus. If the cells are highlighted orange or red, then this means that the values are either above or below recommendations, and we could look to make some changes to our allocation if that is possible in our situation. There are also some pop-up information icons which give you more information when you click on these. If we want to compare different scenarios, in section 4 there is an option to select option 2. If you select yes, then this allows you to compare different allocations or diets for the same group of animals at the same point in time. In this example here, I've run some scenarios with different mineral supplements and other protein feeds to see if I can meet the recommended values here in the feed checker page. I hope this has helped you to see how you might be able to utilise the feed checker calculator. If you have any questions, please get in touch.